So today uh, we are going to talk about the uh, uh called to be or not to be, uh, which was um, which was uh, presented in the uh, in the nunnery scene of the um, famous uh, William Shakespeare's play called um, called Hamlet. So in that, uh, so in that opening speech, uh, Hamlet was thinking and contemplating about the uh, um, about the uh, death and suicide, and there and there he was bemoaning um, the possible uh, doom and pain of death. So now I am gonna um, uh, present you this um, this poem to be or not to be. That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles, and by opposing and them to die, to sleep no more, and by sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is hard to tis a consummation devoutly to be wished to die to sleep to sleep perchance to dream there's the rub for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The presses wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised law, the law's delay, the insolence of office and the spans that patient merit of the unworth it takes, when he himself might his quietest make with a bare botkin, why would files bear to grant and sweat under weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose ball no traveller returns, puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of dusk conscience does make cowards of us all and thus the native hue of resolution sickles o'er with the pale cast of thought and an enterprise of great pitch and moment with this regard their currents turn awry and lose the name of action soft you know the fair fell nymph in the horizons the all my sims sims remembered